show you how I use Trade Interceptor to uh, give me alerts uh, when uh, the st stochastic oscillator is uh, crossing the 80 or the 20. Uh, first off, uh, if you're viewing this video, make sure it's on high definition. Uh, to do that, you just click on the little gear icon here and pick the highest definition available uh, so you can uh, see all the fine detail, okay? Uh, and also uh, Peter Schiff, he's uh, great to listen to, uh, highly recommend him. All right, enough for that. So what you do is you go to tradeinterceptor.com, uh, create a free demo account, and you can download the app for your desktop computer, uh, laptop, or your mobile devices. All right, so this is where you get it. Uh, and um, if you want uh, details on how to use this app and everything that's uh, going on with it, um, well, this is the actual app right here. Okay, so once you uh, load it onto your computer, uh, it doesn't run in the browser, it runs by itself in its own app. And uh, what you'll do is you will uh, geez where's the I think the information tab here no well if you there, there's a detailed uh, help uh, and I'm not quite sure how to find it right now but if you uh, want to see detailed instructions on how to set up alerts you can uh, find it if you dig around maybe it's is it this here no that's chart settings anyways if you if you look on their website or if you look through the app you'll find the the uh, documentation you know there's a lot of documentation on uh, with detailed instructions so uh, when you first uh, pull it up it'll be here if you want to add pairs what you do is you just click on this little plus sign here and then it'll bring you to all the different possibilities um, and then you just click the ones you want and then hit done and then they'll be here in the menu okay um, what you will want to do is you want to add the stochastic oscillator to your to a chart okay and the way you do that is you would just go down here and Sorry, I haven't done this in a while. Here it is, the indicator, this little thing here. That's how you add an indicator. And as you can see, I have the stochastic oscillator. Uh, you can click Add Indicator, and then you just type in STO, STO, and then it's it'll go down the list alphabetically here. Just a sec here. All right. My computer's a little slow, so I'm just stopping it back up there. Okay, so back to here. You would just uh, type in stow, and then it'll bring add indicators. Type in STO, and then it'll bring up the list of the different sto stochastic indicators, and you'll pick stochastic oscillator, and then add indicator. And then for the settings, um, I'm using 55. 8 and 5 uh, you can use whatever you want and then you just uh, um, I'll just save that as default and then voila so then you just close that and here you have you two of them and since I only need one I'm gonna right click and remove okay so uh, if you go up here, you click on this little bell, and that brings up the alarms. And you can see you have two categories, active and triggered. Okay, so once an alarm's triggered, it doesn't automatically reactivate itself. So the reason I only use this, um, <clears throat> I only use this uh, uh, app for this one thing because. Um, I can't do that on TradingView, and if you look on my YouTube channel, you'll find uh, 
how I use TradingView and how to set up those alerts. Uh, I find TradingView is much better than um, this app, but TradingView can't do what I'm about to show you, so that's why I have gone back to using this app just for this one specific thing. So you have active and triggered. Uh, when an alert's triggered and it'll show up on your iPhone or your Android or your your mobile any mobile device if you install the trade interceptor app and you log in then it'll show up on your iPhone or whatever uh, so that's nice and you can also rearm them from your iPhone but uh, you on your computer uh, you would just go enable alarm and then a pop-up appears do you want to trigger on a closed bar and I don't want it to trigger on a closed bar I want it to trigger as soon as it happens so I click no and then I go back to active and you can see here that I have two I have one that's when the stochastic crosses 80 and I have one that's the when the stochastic crosses 20 now if you look here this is the message that you'll get when the alert is triggered so on my phone it'll pop up gold sto stochastic 80 and then uh, I know that it's crossed the, the 80 line um, when you create an alert this is what it looks like this is the message the message is ugly don't like it so all you gotta do is you're gonna click edit and then uh, as you can see it says FXCM raw gold one hour bid uh, stochastic oscillator uh, crosses uh, crossover to zero that's ugly I don't want to, I don't want that I just want the basic info so I'm gonna retype this X a u USD stock 20 so I know that it's crossing the 20 and I'll modify it and I want to trigger on a closed bar no I want it as soon as it happens so that's how you um, enable a triggered alarm and that's how you edit the message so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the complicated part now which is creating a new alarm so I go down to this little plus sign here from within the alarm menu and look at this complicated thing so I will uh, walk you through this so what we want is we want to click indicator and then we click on the drop down menu we look for stochastic oscillator which is right here and uh, then we want to leave it set on K we want to leave the feed on FXCM raw you can change it whatever you want that's just what I use um, the symbol let's do this for pound uh, uh, Kiwi and leave it at bid price and leave it time for end of the one hour okay so uh, then what I uh, want to happen I want a crossover so what I'm saying is when the indicator stochastic oscillator uh, for the pound kiwi pair uh, on the one hour chart crosses over a value and what's the value gonna be let's make it 80 then I want the alert so then we'll go create and I want to trigger on a closed bar no and then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to edit the name right away. So GBP NZD stock and I made this one 80. Modify and then it always asks you want to trigger on a closed bar? No. Okay. And then I'm going to create another one for the pound kiwi. So I'll go through and do the same process again. Indicator stochastic oscillator the pair will be the pound kiwi when it crosses over and this time it's going to be the 20 create and then no I don't want to trigger on a closed bar and then voila so that's how you create alerts and then uh, if you have the app installed on your mobile phone then you will get an alert on your mobile phone and uh, for the iPhone for example you can go into the notification uh, settings on your iPhone and you can configure it so that you get a pop-up alert 
Um, and uh, that's what I do. So, uh, hey, um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, so if you want to really dig deep into this, um, search for the, uh, the manual. Uh, I really don't know where it is right now, but you'll either find it in the app or on the website. Uh, and uh, that'll, uh, you know, teach you how to use this uh, fully. But um, I really only use it for this because I find uh, TradingView.com. Um, the alerts there are much better and uh, you know you don't have to rearm them all the time and stuff so I, I prefer that but uh, you know uh, the trading view doesn't do everything so now I have to go to a trade interceptor to get this specific thing I want to alert for uh, programmed alright so uh, thanks for watching and uh, bye for now